Hey, welcome back to At Home with Lady Cinnamon. Today I will be doing a tutorial. I was requested from Evelyn. Thanks for requesting. She wanted me to do a dupe of this picture and using items that anyone can purchase from the craft aisle. And I will do my best to stay true to that. So the first thing you want to do is sketch out on the canvas for the scale that you're going for. I know a lot of people that paint regularly don't do it, but freehand is not for the faint at heart. And if you're starting out, I always, always recommend going in and sketching it out. It's like coloring. You won't have to worry about it. Once you color, the lines are gone. And you're going to be using a pencil or charcoal. You can remove it easily. So just keep that in mind. Most canvases are pre-primed so make sure when you're starting you're getting one that's pre-primed and we're going to go ahead and give it a white base coat which is what I did for the contrast for these colors in this picture. Now this picture had some flecks in the back with different colors. I'm going to forego that. It looked a little weird um, and I really couldn't see the picture was grainy so I hope you don't mind but I am going to add that third color. I like the way you chose black and white because of the juxtaposition with that dramatic contrast that black and white paintings always create. You want it mid-century modern and I'm so happy that you actually sent me a picture when you requested it. For brushes you want to go with a flat brush or what they call a wash brush. You don't want anything thick like that but you want something that's flexible as you can see in a picture. These can be found in any craft section of any store. So just bear that in mind. We're going to be going in with a craft paint that's what you requested not some expensive paint that you've never heard of <laughs> and when you start doing this just to let you know um, do not purchase any expensive brushes a regular brush that's in the craft aisle that you might find in the kiddo aisle you can even probably get them from some place like the Dollar Tree or something trust me will be fine I wouldn't recommend a sponge I know a lot of people like to use those but you will definitely want to use a brush this is a regular nylon brush it's called a wash brush or flat brush if you're looking for it and I think it's about an inch so this creates a glide that's all that you need for painting this picture in particular that you sent me and this brush is perfect for a controlled glide it allow you to pick up and push the paint easily and um, because you're doing this type of painting a lot of people that start off they actually start believe it or not with black and white they don't introduce colors in it's safe and I love the way that you actually even if you're not familiar or thinking about it that was already in the back of your your mind so yeah that's pretty cool now in, re in relational painting you're going to be introducing a third color with this because I saw in the picture you sent it had a little bit of yellow or gold on the very edges but not all of these in this mid-century um, sort of geometric design and so this is all there is to it now holding the paintbrush you see I'm holding it very close to the bristles earlier I was holding it further away the, fir the way I you hold your brush, you're supposed to hold it the way I'm holding it, very close to the bristles, not when you see them in a movie where they're holding it at the end like they're some master painter. That's the movies. <laughs> they're actors and actresses and that's not how you hold the brush. When you hold it close to the bristles like this, it's giving you better control no matter what type of paintbrush or bristle or paint you're using. So always keep that in mind when you're starting off and I hope this is really helping. And as you can see, I'm just going to continue painting this I'm gonna play a little bit of music because it's just going to be a lot of painting and guys I can't think of enough things to talk about <laughs> while I'm painting so um, and, and doing a voiceover so I'm just gonna play music while you see me paint this and I will be back at the end thank you
So guys, thanks so much for being so patient. And as you can see, I'm done. I'm gonna let this dry down and then introduce that last third color that's going to basically, um, with this geometric design, mediate those two contrasting colors. They're very dramatic. This is what they had in the actual picture. It was like a yellowish goldish color. Really couldn't figure out because the picture was a tad bit grainy. So I'm just going to do it on the edges like they had it. Not every edge I believe. I'm not really sure. But every other. And I think it looks sort of close to what it was in that picture. Now we're just going to let this dry out. Go in and put in um, a protective coat. This is a clear coat varnish or or whatever you want to use is fine and here we're done i love the way it turned out thank you so much for sending this over i love love reading your emails and com and, and your comments below so i appreciate it and if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs out it really helps out my channel and hit the bell twice when you subscribe so you'll know whenever i upload a new video and evelyn thanks again thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video